स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स चैप्टर थ्री इंटीजर्स कंपेरिंग इंटीजर्स यू नो दैट इफ वी एड वन टू एनी नंबर ऑन द नंबर लाइन यू गेट द नेक्स्ट नंबर ऑन द राइट Your two plus one is three, three plus one four, four plus one five, and so on. Note that this is true for negative numbers too. For example, let's take minus four plus one. If we do minus four plus one, just work it out. You have learned addition of integers. Minus four plus one. You are adding one. So what happens? The answer that you get is plus and minus is minus four minus one three and sign of greater number minus. So minus three. So when you add to min one to minus four, you reach on the number minus three. That means minus three is greater than minus four. we have added 1 and then we got the answer as minus 3 this tells us that on a number line all the numbers which fall to the right are greater than those numbers which fall to its left so let's take one more example for example if you see number 4 and number 5 5 is greater than 4 now let us solve some examples for example we'll take 4 and minus 3 we'll have to give it a sign when comparing either smaller greater or equal to now all of us know that a positive number will always be greater than a negative number so 4 is greater than minus 3 and you will see that 4 is towards the right on the number line of the given number between the two numbers 4 and minus 3 4 is to the right so the number which is to the right you can keep this clue in your mind that number which is to the right between the two given numbers on the number line that number will always be greater this is about a positive number and a negative number we can easily identify because positive number will always be greater than a negative number so now what about the solution when both are negative numbers so let's try let's take one more example minus 2 and let us compare it with say minus 3 okay so now minus 2 is here to the right of minus 3 the number to the right is greater so minus 2 will be greater than minus 3 now every time it won't be possible for us to look at a number line and answer so you can visualize keep in your mind that negative numbers Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and they go on like that towards the left. So, if I say between minus sixteen and say four, compare the numbers. Now you can't see minus sixteen, but you can visualize that minus sixteen will definitely fall to the left on the number line, whereas four will be on the right. so we can say that 4 is greater here minus 16 is less than 4 so this way you can compare integers okay the numbers which will be on the right of the number line will be greater than those on the left so you have to visualize the number line in your mind what about zero let's take one example zero And say minus one. Now, zero and all positive numbers will be always greater than the negative numbers. All positive numbers are greater than zero and negative numbers, and zero is greater than all negative numbers. So zero will be greater 
then minus 1 and you can see here very clearly that 0 is to the right of minus 1 and I mentioned to you earlier that the number which is on the right will be greater. Let's take 12 and say 1 negative number minus 6. Now always a positive number will be greater than a negative number and 12 you know it will fall somewhere on the right of the number minus 6. So both these numbers right now are not there on the number line but we know the answer thinking of where they will appear on the number line. 12 on the right minus 6 towards the left and also positive numbers are always greater than the negative numbers. So now you know that on the number line every number is greater than the number on its immediate left by 1. So 3 is greater than 2 by 1. 4 is greater than 3 by 1. Same with negative numbers. Minus 3 is greater than minus 4 by 1. Okay. So let's start practice set number 7. Practice set 7. Write the proper sign greater, lesser or equal to in the boxes below. So here we have minus 4 and 5. Definitely we know that a positive number is greater than a negative number. Also you can bring to your mind the concept of where they will appear on number line. Minus 4 here and 5 on the right side. The right side is greater. So minus 4 is less than 5. It's very simple once the concept is clear. Let's see. The second number 8 and minus 10 are the integers. Positive is greater than negative. So 8 is greater than minus 10. Now plus 9 plus 9. Both are equal. So we will put equal to sign. Minus 6 and 0. 0 is on the right of minus 6. And 0 is greater than all negative numbers. So minus 6 is less than 0. Number 5, 7 and 4. We know that 7 is greater than 4. 3 and 0, 3 is greater than 0. Minus 7 and 7. Negative number is always less than a positive number. Minus 12 and 5. Again the same rule. Minus 12 negative number is less than a positive number. Now both are minus here. Minus 2, minus 8. We know that minus 2 will come on right side of the number line. And then somewhere here minus 8 will come ahead of the number line. So minus 2, the right, the one which comes to the right first is greater. Minus 2, greater than minus 8. Minus 1 and minus 2. Again minus 1 will come to the right and then minus 2 to the left. So minus 1 is greater. 6 and minus 3. Without much thinking we know that positive number is greater than a negative number. Minus 14 is equal to minus 14. They are both equal. So equal to sign. So remember that you have to just keep in mind that the number which falls on the number line to the right side will be greater than the other number which is given and will fall to the left side. A very simple exercise. Kindly solve all the sums in your book. Thank you.